welcome to Enter Scoop Face. I'm Otaku Superior, and yes, I am a high-level degenerate. We have a Lilithmon loop deck. Might as well get this profile done before BT8 kills Eismon. DG Eggs or Demi Marimon on Sunomon. Demi Marimon on deletion, trigger draw one, trash one. Sunomon once per turn when you trash something from your hand with an effect, draw one. Trashing does happen, just not as frequently as deletion, so I feel that this is only just a one of. Through testing, I have needed to use five eggs though. Otherwise, I would just be using four of him. For rookies, four BT4 Lapramon. On play, draw one, trash one. I mean, it's draw one, trash one. It's good. Three BT2 Gabumon, inherit on deletion, draw two, trash one. Two BT3 Sukaimon on deletion, gain a memory. Two BT3 Gazimon stops your opponent from gaining memory from things that aren't tamers. The rookie count is a little low. For my taste, I have had a couple times where I've wrecked it with no rookies, but I really can't find a lot of room to add a couple more, but it would be more Gabus or Sukais. Champions, Eismon package, four of each obviously. Scatter mode on deletion, draw three, trash two. It's a low play cost, so you can easily hard play it. Then just swing it into opponent security. If it dies in the attack, that's fine. Draw three, trash two. Or Eismon, it's great if it gets trashed from your hand using one of your effects, which your rookies are doing. If you got this in your trash, free play. And then it gets 2k DP for every scatter mode in it. Use it while we can run four. Also running one of the uh, full Ginkakumon package. Ginkakumon inherit, trash one in your hand to delete one of your opponent's level three. Ginkakumon once per turn, when you trash card in your hand, gain one memory. Ginkakumon promote, rush, can attack if the turn is played. We have effects to play it. On play can also grab these. You can also evolve this on top of a level four if needed. So on top of either of these two. Level fives are kind of like three of each Cerberus one. Basic one on deletion. Draw two, trash one, meh. Werewolf mode, rush on the turn it's played. On play, you can delete one of your Cerberus Mon, gain nine memory. This is ready on your board. This is a free play then. One Rebellamon, level six. It's four Lilith Mon, that's it. I like consistency, we're running four of. On Dage Evolve, you got at least 10 in your trash, which you probably do. Get two purple options back. And once per turn, we use an option, to memory. Level seven, three Omnimon's work. I was running four, but I found I was working more often than not. When Dage Evolving, trash to three in your deck. Play up to two black or purples. It'll be purples, we play cost of eight or less. These will typically be your targets, his work. Get a Cerberus Mon out, and if you happen to have Werewolf Mon in your hand, you can play that for free. Eyes Mon will be buffed by the number of scatters in your drop. Can Kakamon promote. Prox is on play, gets these, and it can swing that turn. When attacking, you can return your level six, which will be Lilithmon, and its sources to hand. To delete one of your opponents on suspended guys with power of 12 or less, so kills any mega or less. Tamers for analog youth. On play, look at the top three, grab a Digimon, trash the rest, fuel to drop. When your level five or higher is deleted, which typically you're not deleting that many level five or higher, but you gain one memory, hatch a digi egg to an open spot. The digi egg thing doesn't happen as frequently. I, I don't get that off as often. That's what she said. <laughs> Options, a lot of them. Three jack raids, obviously. Gain one memory for every 10 cards in your trash. Usually with Lilith Mon, it's usually three memory. To Hell's Gate is the only real reliable removal we have, as the other removal is Zwart, which kind of needs a full Digivolution stack to pull off. Deletes any level six or higher. Deals with the level sevens that Zwart can't deal with. Two Underworlds Call. If it gets trash from your hand, you can draw one, which is great. You can play a purple level four or lower from your trash without paying memory cost. So you can call Eismon, or can Kakamon Promote, grab the pieces under it and rush with it. One Revive from the Darkness. You can delete one of your purple Digimon to play a level five or lower. Again, you can target Eismon or can Kakamon from it. This also lets you target Werewolf Mode. You won't get the on play, it'll be negated by this effect, but you'll still have Rush and two win rate 60%. This replaces the Mega Digimon Fusion that got banned. There are a couple caveats with this to not being as good though. When you're going into Zwart, you only save two memory if you hadn't used an option yet with Lilith Mon's effect to gain two memory back. Otherwise, this is literally just a trash one card for no extra benefit so it's more situational than mega fusion and that's pretty much it honestly i think this deck's gonna get shuttered after the upcoming sets yellow purple really does just get a lot better than this kind of happens when one of your main cards gets banned and another one gets limited oh well good while it lasted